Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking play. It's episode 9 of our Director of Football Challenge with Football Club Barcelona and it's a big one. We have got a couple of matches to catch up on since that fantastic victory over Atletico Madrid. Uh, we've got a massive, massive double header against Bayern Munich. But more important than all of that, it's youth intake. Strap in. Grab a coffee, it's going to be a bumpy ride. So no normal news roundup then, all we're going to show you here is this. The youth intake, one of the most exciting days in FM. Um, if not the most exciting. Now, Jose Maria Baquero is our head of youth development at the Camp Nou, and he's not great. Um, judging player ability, judging player potential is only 11. Uh, he's working with youngsters, he's good at 15, but ah, I'm not confident now about this uh, youth intake because that's not great. And of course, I can't do anything about him because he is out of my remit. The only member of staff that I can hire and fire is Pep Segura, our director of football. So, I haven't looked at this yet. Let's go in and see how it looks. Let's arrange them by potential. And immediately we see a five-star potential. Juan Carlos Perez, a goalkeeper, is five-star rated. So, let's have a look at him. He does look pretty good. He's got good handling already, good decisions. Um, he's quick off the mark, which is really good. Um, natural fitness, agility, excellent agility. For a 16-year-old to have agility of 14 is brilliant. He's six foot, um, positioning is good as well. He does look very, very good indeed. So let's just cycle through them now from here and until we end up back at Juan Carlos Perez. Next one then is Gerard Riera. He's two and a half star potential ability, a defender. Uh, doesn't look brilliant, uh, but maybe with a little bit of work, something could happen there. Enrique Roca, uh, left back or right back. Um, again, doesn't look great, um, but two and a half star potential again. Um, could be something if we work with him. Uh, Juan Luis Serrano is a goalkeeper who looks rubbish. <laughs> Adri is a three and a half star potential striker and wow, he looks like there could be something there. Um, look at that flair, 20. He is some, someone to be excited about. He's reasonably quick. He's reasonable on the physicals. Not, he's not brilliant anywhere except in the flair, but his technique is good. His finishing is good. His dribbling is good. Teamwork is good. So that there is a really good base to work with there. I am quite excited about that guy. Um, Cheik Balde is the next one. He is a defender and he looks pretty promising as well. Decent heading, although not great at getting off the ground. Good balance, good tackling, great determination. Fantastic determination, which will see him well. Three-star potential for the team. He is one that could, in a few years, be pushing for a little bit of first-team involvement for sure. Uh, Carlos Beleste, a striker. Uh, he's a defensive forward mainly, which means he's probably not really going to get a look in. Doesn't look great either. One and a half star potential. I don't think he'll be around in the long term. Uh, we have a Dutch centre-back here, Bayram Gunders. Very Dutch name. Um, looks half decent. Two and a half star potential, doesn't look too bad at all to be fair. Very, very good bravery, um, which I like. Teamwork is excellent, good work rate and marking. Um, but at five foot ten, he's not great in the air, not brilliant in the tackle at the minute, but a little bit of something to work with. Uh, Aitor Diaz, a left midfielder, left winger, um, looks reasonably good as well. Two star potential. Maybe not earth shatteringly great. Uh, Guillem is a right winger and possibly a striker. Very quick, very fit. Um, does look really good. Only three star potential. Surprises me a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I thought he would have a little bit higher rating than that. He's definitely one to keep an eye on. Uh, Hector, right sided midfielder. Again, wow, look at the speed on the kid. 
um, build that stamina and that strength up and you have got a beast on your hands there only two star potential again don't really get that I know his technicals aren't great but I think there's something to work with there as well uh, central midfielder Juan um, half decent passing good determination teamwork work rate uh, aggression is good natural fitness is not bad again looks half decent um, Mark right back why have they all only got one name <laughs> uh, Marty could play anywhere down the right hand side there looks really good great natural fitness which means we should be able to bump those physicals up uh, good flair as well and teamwork is fantastic looks pretty good two and a half star potential I'm liking him Fernando Martinez oh can play anywhere across that front three and he's just not good is he one and a half star potential there's just no real redeeming qualities there other than his determination he's quick off the mark and he's got fairly decent stamina that natural fitness is awful though um oh that's disappointing when you can see he can play across the three behind the striker i was hoping for more there um anthony masso again can play across the three predominantly a left winger though um doesn't look too bad something to work with two star potential marcel nunez again another another one that can play across there but again doesn't look brilliant not awful but not earth shatteringly good and Adria Padilla I think this is the last one he is a left footed fullback can play as either fullback but he's left only on his preferred foot so he is a left back looks good he's quick he's reasonably fit um, strength isn't great but then doesn't necessarily need to be as you know Five foot eleven. He's quite tall for a left back, um, but it's definitely something to work with there. And this should be back to the beginning as Perez. It is all in all not bad. A little bit disappointing when your five star wonder kid is a goalkeeper, though. So those are the potential stars of our future, but it's the here and now that we're interested in at this moment in time. Uh, so we followed up that 3-0 win against Atletico from the last video with a 3-0 victory on the road in San Sebastian against Real Sociedad. Luis Suarez scored after nine minutes and a brace from Leo Messi. Now, confession time, this was the second time we played this match. We played it and we won 4-1. Messi got one and Suarez got a hat-trick. Unfortunately, I then went to watch the um, the youth candidates against the under-19s and it crashed. So uh, when I reloaded, we were back in to play this game. So thankfully, we got a similar sort of result. Um, really good performance, even though the stats suggest it was an even game. We were just far more clinical. Our chances were better. And it's a very, very good three points because if you beat Atletico and then lose this match... You know, it kind of um, renders that result irrelevant, but all good so far. And we followed that win up with an incredible 7-0 win against Girona at Camp Nou. We were just irresistible in the first half. We were 6-0 up before half-time. Messi only got one, so amazingly, um, and didn't even get an assist. <laughs> Bizarre. Uh, Stefan de Vrij off the mark for the club. Ivan Rakitic scored a hat-trick. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Samuel Umtiti and Luis Suarez scored as well. It was a stunning performance. It really, really was. The second half was a non-event, it has to be said, but that's to be expected uh, when you've hit six in the first half. But we we just played so well. Every time we went forward, it looked like we were going to score. And it's such a great little confidence-boosting run of form going into this massive, massive match now with the uh, mighty Bavarians. And what it does for the league table is it puts us 10 points clear of Atletico Madrid, then uh, seven games to go. So that means we only need four wins from those seven games and we are champions. It is a matter of when, not if at this point. Real Madrid are a further point back in third. Uh, Valencia look good for that final Champions League push unless Sevilla can really reel them back in. Uh, down at the other end, it is Leganes who are definitely, definitely uh, going. In fact, seven games to go. They are actually gone. I don't think I've had a notification about that, but they are actually gone, aren't they, Leganes? Even if they won all seven games, they could only get to 32 points. The biggest game of the season so far, then. Here we go. This is our team. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen in goal. Then it's Luca Dean 
Uh, Samuel MTT, Gerard Piquet, Nelson Semedo at the back. Uh, Busquets, Iniesta, Paulinho in the middle with Dembele, Messi and Suarez in attack. It's as strong as I could have picked, with the exception possibly of Jordi Alba, but he is injured. So yeah, let's get out there. Let's try and get a solid first leg lead to take to Germany. Here we go then, the Camp Nou is buzzing, it is rocking. Uh, you can just imagine the Champions League anthem playing, the Barcelona hymn playing. Uh, I haven't gone into detail on Bayern Munich because it's the first season, you know Bayern Munich. They only made one signing in the summer, it was Car Karim Bellarabi from Bayer Leverkusen. He is on the bench. Of course they did have the players they signed in real life, uh, Tolisso, Nicolas Sula, Sebastian Rudy. They're all on the bench as well. Um, they are coming at us with a 4-2-3-1. So, we do kind of outnumber them a little bit in midfield. Busquets hopefully will do a job on Hammers, and uh, we will see this through. So we are going to passionately G them up. We're going passionate for this one and we are going to say go out there and get a first leg win. It will do us a world of good. It's gone down pretty well. Let's get to it. Vamos! Forza Barca! So the Germans get the game underway then. I've just had one of those annoying tunnel interviews. Loads of questions about some of those contracts that have been signed. So I, why are you asking me about those now? You're asking me about youth team players signing contracts when we've got a massive match against Bayern Munich. Just let me get out to my dugout and sort out this match. I hate those tunnel interviews. Um, right, here we go. First highlight, Mats Hummels, Thiago. David Alaba, I'm really pumped for this one. I can really, really feel a great two-legged tie coming here. That's a good block on the cross. Dembele plays it four for Luis Suarez. A lot to do at the moment. Getting forward there, there's Messi. Who are you gonna play it to? He's gone to Semedo, get it across, he does! Dembele, dream start for Barcelona. Usman Dembele, the golden ball, golden boy winner, the golden boy. Six minutes in and we are 1-0 up and what a start. We couldn't have asked for it any better. Great counter-attack and it's Nelson Semedo who has been brilliant and Dembele who is already a legend. Goal kick for Manuel Neuer then. Not an awful lot happened since the goal. Um, you can see I'm back to one of my favourite shirts, the, uh, the old 50 years at the Camp Nou special edition. And we have been pulled back. That was an awful mistake. Oh, that was an awful mistake and the ball has been crossed in and Robert Lewandowski somehow unmarked on the edge of the six yard box. What happened here? Muller gets to it and then what's going on here? Samuel Umtiti, what was that? What happened there? And how oh, Lewandowski's where Umtiti should be and it's a free header. He's never going to miss those. Alaba with the throw, Hammers, Coman. So Atletico are playing. Oh, Thiago's hit one on his return. Don't you dare score against us. Thiago, I love you, but I will absolutely hate you if you score against us here. It is crossed in and cleared away, and that's probably going to be the end of that highlight. Yes, yeah, so we've got Atletico Madrid playing Benfica as well. It is nil-nil in, uh, in the Wanda Metropolitano at the minute. In fact, Benfica look like they've lost one of their best players there to injury in Jonas. Um, it's a very dull game. Half an hour gone. Thiago in midfield. Boateng. Mats Hummels. Oh, loose ball. Messi gets to it. Plays it in for Suarez. Oh, how have you put that wide? Hummels with the free kick. Thiago Martinez and Sergio Busquets has picked it up. Here's Messi. Iniesta looks to get Suarez away and he's, uh, he is away. Oh, that is woeful. Half time then and as things stand, we are in trouble. Hey, it's 1-1. One, one. I did not want Bayern Munich getting an away goal. And I certainly didn't want us leaving Robert Lewandowski completely unmarked in the six yard box. That is just suicidal. Uh, we have assertively said, I am not happy with your performance out there. Everyone looks motivated. Everyone looks fired up. Let's get out there and put it to use in the second half. Vamos. Iniesta with the corner. Come on, boys. Let's get the lead. Sergio Busquets headed down and it's turned in by Luis Suarez. It is turned in by the Uruguayan. And that is a massive, massive goal. Um, we had the, the, it came in and Dembele hit a volley, didn't he? Sergio Busquets played it down brilliantly. Thiago cleared off the line and Suarez just was able to place it in. Manuel Neuer was left totally exposed by Thiago's clearance, but it's 2-1. It's a huge goal. It could give us the confidence of Suarez. Oh. 
So you can see at the top of the screen now we've made a couple of changes as Messi puts that free kick in. Uh, yes, yeah, Sergio Roberto has come on. In fact, we've changed both central midfielders. He is Dembele. Plays it across. Suarez! Good save, Neuer. David Alaba to take the throw to Kingsley Coman. Heads it back to the Austrian. Javier Martinez now. Thiago. He's still got a role to play in this last 25 minutes, I think, Thiago. He is still going to come back and break our hearts. Here he is again in the centre of the pitch, pulling those German strings. Iron Robin. James, Thiago, come on. Someone just get a tackle in, please. What are you playing at? Thiago. Oh, Robin now. Gets it across. Lewandowski nods it in. You could see that coming a mile off. You could... We just weren't getting anywhere near them. They have just knocked it around us. And that is a second away goal. And that is absolutely disastrous. Oh, this is not looking good. Thiago, there you go. Broke our hearts, didn't he? Played a lovely ball out. And Lewandowski gets in front of Tostegen. Gerard Piquet, forward to Rafinha. Looking to release Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez is in. Oh, he tried to place the shot and Neuer was not falling for that, was he? Uh, so Rafinha has come on for Sergio Busquets. And we pushed uh, Rakitic just back into Busquets' role. And uh, Rafinha and Sergio Roberto are now the, uh, the central midfielders. Again, we're looking fitter than they are, but it's just not, not registering... We somehow have had 16 shots on goal. I don't remember seeing them all. And it's just, it's not going well. We can go to Munich and score. We can go to Munich and score. I, I really think we can. But here's Dembele. Can we get our noses in front again? Oh, Suarez has been awful today. Leo Messi, he is dead on his feet. But I, we've got Deportivo up next. As Suarez is in. Suarez! Oh, Neuer denies him again. Suarez has been woeful with his finishing. The only goal he did score tonight was the open goal. He couldn't have missed it as Rakitic. He just kicked Lewandowski up in the air. We've got a, a free kick to defend. Hames will take. Goes across to Kingsley Coman and the shot goes wide. Neuer with the goal kick out to Hummels. Yeah, so Messi, as I was saying earlier, Messi is looking really tired at the minute. He's down at like 63%. Um, but... He can sit out the weekend's game against Deportivo. I'll play Angel Di Maria or Rafinha or someone there um, and make sure Messi is fit for the uh, second leg. Um, in fact, I'll probably make at least eight or nine changes, I think. But Suarez could be in for a dramatic late winner. Oh, Lewis, go home. You've been rubbish. What was that? Oh, I know it was the exit highlight, but that was a chance. We, how oh, I am absolutely, I'm livid. I'm so angry. Um, we're only going to be assertive because we, we have done all right, but I'm going to say I'm not happy. Just a quick look then, Atletico Madrid and Benfica drew one all, so it is all to play for, but it is all to do for both the Spanish clubs in these two particular ties, isn't it? Second leg incoming. So just before we get to that second leg then, we did have one game in between the two, and it was at La Riazor against Deportivo La Coruña. And it was an abysmal performance. It really was. Um, we lost 2-1. We deserved to lose by a lot more than that. Bizarrely, Alejandro Arribas scored an own goal to put us in front um, as the ball just kind of bounced off him from a, an attempted clearance. Um, and then he equalised on stroke of half-time as a cross from Depot just hit him and went in. So he scored both goals inadvertently. Um, Adrian scored the winner with uh, what 15 16 minutes to go but you can see we pretty much b teamed it um we did have it was still a strong team and samuel umtiti played because we're a bit short center back at the moment um we did have luca dean we did have uh, rakitic sergio roberto di maria uh, but we had players like paco alcacer and stefan de Vrij, mario fernandez sillison andre gomez denis suarez all these sort of uh, fringe players it was a chance for them to prove themselves and they just really didn't do it Paco Alcacer there he's got a 7.3 but he was awful he really was how he's got that he was our best player along with Mario Fernandez. how he got that I'll never know because he was awful what it has done though is give me a little bit more of a clearer picture of who I'm going to be getting rid of just ahead then of our second leg we have all four games all four ties as they stand so we've got our 2-2 draw Atletico of course a 1-1 with Benfica but in the other two 
Juventus have got a solid 2-0 lead to take to Old Trafford against Manchester United. And Monaco have got a 3-1 lead to defend in the Bernabeu against Real Madrid. That one's going to be especially tricky because Real do have the away goal. The Juventus one, that would be very, very interesting to see how that unfolds. One change then from the first leg and Jordi Alba comes in for Luca Dean at left back. He is really, really unfit though. He's just coming back from injury, of course. So Lucas Dean probably will get on the pitch at some point. Other than that, it's exactly the same. No space on the bench for Paco Alcacer. I am actively looking to sell him now. So uh, he is not involved in today's squad. But it's as strong as we can go. Fingers crossed. We're going to need some luck in Bavaria. But let's do this. So here we are. We're in the Allianz Arena. Look at that team. Look at that Bayern team. It is scary strong, isn't it? I mean, I thought we had a pretty good squad. But just look at that. Look at that attack. Muller, Rodriguez, Coman and Lewandowski. Javi Martinez and Thiago. Spanish midfield. And then Alaba, Boateng, Hummels and Kimmich with Manuel Neuer in goal. This could be an absolute slobber knocker. In the team talk then, we've just been very, very calm. We've just said... Um, that we can go out there and beat them. They've won three out of their last five, but there's no reason why we can't do it. It's gone down okay. Everyone's listened keenly. Uh, Dembele is motivated. He could well be the key man again for us. Let's get out there. Let's get an early away goal and let's get this job done. So Luis Suarez kicks us off in the pouring rain in Germany. Can we, well, we've got to score. Can we score more than we concede here? That is going to be a tough ask. Throw in for Dev David Alaba, Kings of Coman. Back to Alaba. Thomas Muller's there and it's parried away by Ter Stegen. Oh, and a calamitous own goal. Jordi Alba, less than three minutes into his comeback match and Javi Martinez has shot a pinballed around and gone in. Oh, that's annoying. It's a no, it hasn't changed anything. We still need to score. We were out before that goal. We need to score. It was clawed away by Ter Stegen. Well, that came off Semedo, didn't it? And then off Alba. 1-0. Come on, boys. Straight from the kickoff. That's what I like to see. Straight back in there. We, it, As I say, it doesn't change anything in the fact other than we kind of need to score twice. But that was always likely to be the case anyway. Um, this pitch, or these weather conditions are going to be really, really significant, I think. But... Bayern really look like they've come out to, to get this one done. Here's Hammers looking for Thomas Muller. He's in and he's drilled it just wide. To Stegen with the kick out to Semedo. Down the line for Messi. Tackled immediately by David Alaba and the play is switched. But Jordi Alba recovers it. To Stegen launches it long this time. That was aimless. You're not set to kick it long. But we've won it back again. And to Stegen again goes long. Suarez is never going to win those headers against Barteng and Hummels. It's just not going to happen. Here's Dembele. Looks to set Suarez away. It's a good ball. Suarez. He's out wide. He's drilled it across. Messi's coming in. Ball is cleared away. It's out with Joshua Kimmich. Big, big news from Bayern. Robert Lewandowski has gone off injured. He scored both goals in the first leg. Arjen Robin has come on. And there he is, and it's a good save from Tostegen. Now, while Robin is a very good player, of course, he isn't a striker. But he looks like he's playing in that striker position. And he's just headed over as well. But we can do this now. Come on. Hummels with the free kick. Goes short to Thiago. Out to Kings of Coman. There's a man on the left. Alaba's there. Oh, you've not picked him up. David Alaba crosses. Thomas Muller with the header. It's off the bar. That would have been game over if that had gone in. Here's Thiago to keep it alive. Martinez loses out. Paulinho has been anonymous in this game so far. Coman looks to get Hammers away, but PK covers well. We're coming up to half time and we have not been in this game at all. We need to do something here. Let's have a look at this then. Look, 13 shots to three. Atletico Madrid have scored in Lisbon. Uh, Simi Vrisalico, the right back, has scored the goal. So that cancels out Benfica's away goal from the first leg. And of course, puts Atletico 2 1 up on aggregate. That's going to be a very interesting second half. Um, but we are assertively going to say I expect to see much better because that has not been good at all. And the worrying thing is Leo Messi got a knock in that first half and he's only at 74% now. I am not sure how much longer Leo Messi is going to be on the pitch. That is very, very worrying. But let's get out there. Let's hope that team talk did the trick. Let's go out there and break some German hearts. 
Umtiti, four to Iniesta. Out to Dembele. Come on now, you've done nothing in this game. None of them have, to be fair. None of them have. Here's Sergio Busquets. Iniesta. Helped on. Uh, Robin's away. You're not going to catch him. Arjen Robin and Ter Stegen saves. Big, big save. Big, big save from Marc-Andre Ter Stegen. Hamez, though, is going to put this free kick across. It's Coman and he's wide. Here's Kingsley Coman. Hamez looking for Robin. Coman. Come on, boys, get into him. That's it. Paulinho out to Messi. Set Suarez away. He does. Suarez, he's surrounded by three. He's holding it up well, though. Brought Samedo into play. That was good forward play. And now the crossing opportunity is there. Oh, and it's come to Iniesta. Martinez looking to get it across, but Samedo's got to it. Now Messi. Suarez on the move. Suarez in. Oh, what was that? Here's Boateng. This is from the goal kick from that chance. I've, I'm not kidding. I've just had the game paused for about five minutes. Just trying to come to terms with the fact that Suarez did that. Um, but here's Dembele. Can Suarez redeem himself now? Play him in, play him in, play him in. He's played Paulinho in. Oh, what is going on in front of goal today? Umtiti out to Messi. That's a great ball. Messi looks at Suarez. Come on now, Lewis. Oh, my word. The, uh, this whole tie, our finishing have been dire. Luis Suarez missed so many chances in that first leg. He, the, only, the goal he scored was an open goal. He couldn't miss. And every chance since, has, he's just been awful. And oh, if I had a better striker than Paco Alcacer in reserve. Oh, Suarez is in this time. He can't miss. He doesn't miss. We're back in it. I love you really, Luis. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, thank God for that. Right. Calm now, boys. Calm. Let's do this. Got to make some changes, probably. But Messi got tackled here. And then it was Javi Martinez with the assist. Well done. And Suarez couldn't miss that one. PK gets it. I'm surprised they haven't gone a little bit more defensive by now. A bit of game management from Bayern. As Suarez looks for Messi, he's never going to get that. Messi's going to have to come off. Going to have to bring Di Maria on. We're going to have to do it. Um, here's Coman, though. Are we going to keep it 1-1 at the end of this highlight it's a long highlight with nothing happening but here's Kimmich in it goes Robin oh what a save Mark andre to Stegen and another highlight Coman oh he's lifted it forward it's over hit for Muller though to Stegen picks it up this is going to be a dramatic end to this match you can see it coming here's PK Messi PK again there we go, Semedo on the run, Semedo's away. Come on, get it across, get it across, get it across. Oh, it's one of those rubbish crosses. Dembele to take the throw. Oh, he's tackled by Thiago. Kimish, Hames. Come on, get in there, boys. You're set to close down more. Do it. Kimo Bellarabi coming forward into Tolisso. Oh, they have slowed it right down, haven't they? Oh, he's tactical genius from uh, whoever's the manager. Is it your pank is in the game? Dembele, those look for Suarez. You've got... And Di Maria with you. There's Di Maria. Yes. Yes. And held Di Maria. The super sub. Brilliant play. Luis Suarez. Oh my God. How are we going to do it? Dembele played it down the chat. I can't believe this. Ah, oh, kiss the badge. Come on. Oh, we're straight in from kickoff. Thiago out to Robin. We have made some changes and they have gone through though. Uh, we've gone lower tempo, shorter passing, retain possession, um, structured, dribble less. I'm hoping, and we've dropped the defensive line back a bit as well. I'm just hoping that it has enough to see the game out because they're going to look to pump balls forward. And Robin is in and Ter Stegen has come up big for us in this game. What a save. Manuel Neuer, can you see he was just running back to goal there, wasn't he? Suarez, Di Maria's free on the right. Come on. Oh, we've gone back to standard flexible as well with all the changes that we made as Muller looks to get in. Why is our defence so high up there? Get out there to Stegen. Get to that. Oh, what are you doing? Oh my God, you're giving me a heart attack. PK. Nelson Semedo. This is better. Shorter passing. We're doing, we've hardly had any of the ball. So we're retaining possession. Oh, and we, we're in. Suarez. Oh, and Manuel Neuer. What a brilliant, brilliant save. That would have killed it. Manuel Neuer with a with the Manuel Neuer save Di Maria takes Hummels clears at the near post come on if I had the wall oh my god if I had the roadblock set set up in tactics it would be in by now but I haven't so I've had to improvise I did wonder whether to bring Dembele and Di Maria back as wingers oh I don't believe that I do not believe that's just gone in 
Oh my god. Are you kidding me, FM? Are you ki We're going to concede two goals like that. Two own goals like that. Are you kidding me? Robin puts it in. Oh. Oh, I give up. What is... Oh, my God. We've got another highlight. It's the last 30 seconds. Is there anything left? Dembele looks to get Suarez in. Oh, what a tackle by Martinez. What a tackle. Oh, I can't... Why do we... Oh, just... What's the point? Why do you try and win games when that happens? That's ridiculous. Lucas Digne tries to get onto that. He does. Crosses it in. Hummels heads it away for the corner. Surely not. Is there a chance? I can't... I... I'm, if we go out because of that, I'm just I'm going to be fuming. I really am, as Andre Gomez. Oh, I hate this game. Absolutely hate this game. We're still in it. We've still got a chance. We've reverted back to our standard tactic now, um, because as far as I'm concerned, now we've got a little half-hour match. Winner takes all. Um, we've just said passionately, it's time for everyone to dig in and give everything you've got. We deserve to win this match. Let's go out and do it. After getting 2-1 up like that, oh, so late in the game. And for it to be another, that's the galling thing. It was exactly the same as the Jordi Alberon goal. How can we, ah, oh, just get out there, let's do this, come on. We kick it off, Sergio to Andre Gomez. Dembele has been awful in this game, to be fair. But Lucas Digne could be away straight away. And oh, of course, the cross doesn't work. Marc-Andre Tostegen with the goal kick out to Semedo. So in the other game, it did finish 1-0 to Atletico. So they are through. Paulinho forward to Suarez. Oh, yes, Paulinho, Paulinho, Paulinho. Oh, my God. James puts a free kick in. It's headed away by Umtiti. And apparently, we're just not even bothering going for that loose ball, no? Thiago's going to pick it up here. And it's back with Robin. And there's the 3-2. Really, what is going on? Why did... Oh. I am losing the will to live. Why has he not gone for the ball there? He's just stood there. Paulinho's just stood there. And then Thiago just is... Oh. Andre Gomez, Sergio Busquets. Really surprised we haven't had the half-time whistle yet. And Di Maria's played Suarez in. Oh my God, how many is he going to miss? So Bayern get the second half of extra time underway then. I, I'm i going to, when I'm editing this, and I'm, this is going to be a really long video now as well. I can just see it because we've gone to extra time. So apologies. Um, I'm going to count how many chances Suarez has missed because I think one-on-ones across the two games, I think it's been, I think it's seven at least, as James Rodriguez has wrapped it up. And Bayern will go through. At least they've scored some of their own goals for a change. Oh... What a way to lose it. I hate Bayern Munich. I hated them before this. I absolutely detest them now. <sighs> Javi Martinez then. So we're just uh, with 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes left of our Champions League season. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm on the floor. I am absolutely on the floor. Thomas Muller, good tackle to Stegen, picks it up. We have gone overload for, for what good it's going to do. Overload doesn't work, does it? And let's see if we can make it interesting with a goal here. Suarez is in. Means nothing, does it? Dembele's in. And Neuer fists it away. To Stegen launches it up the field. Five seconds left. It's Nothing's happened since their goal. We've had a couple of half chances and that is it. And we're out. We're done. It's all over. I mean, we, look, look at the stats. I mean, I didn't come into this expecting to go through... I you can't argue with the stats but it's just the way those first two goals have come about it's just uh, and even the Aryan Robin one um, when they just stood around uh, uh, it's just it's so frustrating it's it makes you just not want to play the game you set up to go away and try and do your best and then that happens uh, I'm, I'm going to go and lay down for a very long time after this uh, we're just calmly going to say it's just one of those days. Can't fault any of you. And look at them. They're absolutely knackered. And we've got to go and try and wrap up the league title now. And they're all on the floor. So just quickly then before we end, we'll just have a quick look at the league table. I didn't show it you after the Depot game. Uh, so our lead has been cut to eight. But if Real Madrid can only get to 88 points. So we only need 11 to win the league. And if you look at our fixtures... They are all winnable. 
So we've got Malaga and Betis at home, then Celta away, Levante Bilbao at home, and finish with Hetafe away. The next video, spoiler alert, we're going to win the league in the next video, and that will be uh, that will be it for the season. Bit of an anticlimax because there's no title race to speak of at the minute. There could well be if our players don't recover. We we do have five days, thankfully. We've got five days, so we should have a pretty much full-strength squad for the Malaga game. Um, so, yeah, the next video will be whichever match uh, Caesars win the title. Guys, I know this video's probably been well over half an hour, and I'm really, really sorry about that. Didn't expect it to go to extra time, to be fair. Um, but... If you did enjoy it, smash a like. That would make me feel a lot better after that and really helps the channel as well. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you very, very soon for the uh, lifting of the La Liga trophy. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.